Four top mistakes that are killing your gains in the gym. Sometimes there's more than four top mistakes. There's a bazillion of them. I'm going to go over the top four and maybe a few more mistakes of what's killing your gains in the gym. First of all, your diet. Everyone hates me when I say that friggin' word diet, but diet is 90% of what happens to your physique after you train in the gym. You just can't come into the gym and start training and then run across the street to McDonald's or to Burger King or whatever your fancy may be and order the shit that they have on the menu. Not that that shit don't taste good. I like it. I like fast food restaurants, but I stay away from that food because it is that bad. You are gonna do nothing but get fat unless you order a salad from McDonald's. And I really honestly tell you, ordering a salad from McDonald's is the last thing I would do. Your diet has to be on point all the time. You have to be able to understand the chemistry behind dieting. And it's really not a diet. A diet is something you start today because in two months you're going on a cruise or an anniversary or a wedding or whatever the case may be. You diet hard to look good for the moment. And when the moment is over, you blow it at the buffet right after the pictures are taken. And you put back pretty much just as much weight, if not more, than you actually lost for the event. Bodybuilding is a lifestyle. It is something that you do 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Do you have to stay on it? Hardcore, hardcore? No. You follow a good, healthy lifestyle and every so often go out and have your cheat meal. I was just out of town for 10 days and I went off of my diet. I didn't have any sugars, no candy, no garbage food, no processed food, but I ate regular good food at some really good restaurants. I had some pizza, I had some bagels, I had sushi, I had really good stuff. And when I got back from this trip and I did not do any training in the gym, I was down three pounds eating good healthy food with complex carbs and I stay away from complex carbs because my body is so tuned into staying on a low carb keto slash carnivore diet. So those 10 days was like a good break for me. My body absorbed what it needed and when I got back into the gym 10 days later, my muscles swelled up when it came time to working out. All that stored glycogen, it was a freaking crazy pump. So you got to stay on point. You got to take in the right amount of protein, the right amount of complex carbs and keep them low, the right amount of healthy fats, vegetables to fill yourself up, but stay away from the high complex carbs. Your pasta, potatoes, rice, breads, Sweet potatoes are okay, they're on the low glycemic index. They're not gonna hurt you. I have like one sweet potato a week when I go and have lunch. I get a prime rib, Caesar salad, no croutons, and a nice big sweet potato. Next thing that's killing your gains, you're not getting enough sleep. If you think that you can function on four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, and come into the gym after a day of work, or a day of staying home with the kids, or outdoor activity, and you think you're gonna come into the gym and have one of your best workouts, you might get away with it for a little bit, but if you keep that kind of steady schedule going where your sleep is really not good, your body's not resting, you're not getting the proper recovery in your muscles, and you're gonna suffer for it. You're not gonna get the maximum amount of effort in your workouts. Another factor that's killing your workouts is you're doing too many exercises. I've seen people do six, seven, eight exercises for the same body part. It's ridiculous. You don't need that many exercises. Pick your favorite three, maybe four. Train with a moderate amount of weight, Hit those high rep numbers. You want to get them numbers 
in the 25, 30 rep range on that first set of that first exercise, you got to set the par high. You got to blow your load and set that pump high. That's when the blood's going to start coming into your muscles. And every set after that, with every exercise after that, you train to failure. You're going to get that skin splitting pump you always hear me talking about. You're not going to be your strongest through the entire workout for that body part. And if you are, you've done something wrong. You haven't fatigued your muscles enough. First set, set the par high, get them high reps in, drop the weight a little bit. Next set, reps to failure, drop the weight a little bit. Next set, reps to failure. Next exercise, repeat the process. It's that simple. You will get that skin splitting pump you always hear me talking about. Change up the exercises you're doing. Like I said, you're doing six, seven, eight exercises, switch them up every couple of weeks. Do a different three exercises or take one out and add another one in. Don't get so caught up in doing the same routine every single workout for the same body part. Get away from that because your body is going to get used to the same thing. You're not challenging it. You have to put your muscles under a challenge. You can't get them used to a routine, otherwise they're not gonna respond. And one of the biggest, most important factors that are killing your gains in the gym is not knowing what the hell you're doing. Improper form. First of all, your posture has to be on point. You can't go to the barbell curls and grab the curling bar and have your shoulders slumped over and start doing curls. Your posture has to be pulled back, perfect, arms in tight, engaging the muscles, and start curling. Posture is everything on every exercise that you're doing. A lot of times, people are in the gym just moving weight. They got this ego trip going on. Oh, I'm gonna grab the 60s because I know it can curl 60 pounds. And then you see him doing shit like this, swinging. What the fuck are you doing? You ain't training. You're fucking dancing. You know, you're dancing. Lighten up the weight, engage the muscles, posture, curl it with the muscles. Don't use momentum. Another thing people are doing with momentum is when they're doing side laterals, they're coming up here and they're jumping, they're, pu they're jumping up and pushing these weights up. Take the momentum out of your exercises. Lighten the weight, check the ego at the door, lighten it up and let the muscles do the work. Engage your muscles on every repetition. Stop with the momentum. Nobody in the gym gives a shit how heavy you're training. Nobody cares. It's not about the weight because if it was about the weight, every swinging dick in the gym would be a friggin' mass monster and they're not. 90% of the people in the gym look like a bowl of melted fucking ice cream. And they're slinging all this weight and they're squatting all this weight and they got pencil legs. It's not about the weight, people. It's about muscle engagement and learning to control the muscles through the entire repetition range. That's what's important. Check the ego at the door, train with proper form, muscle engagement, mind muscle control. I hope you guys got something out of this little rant. I see this shit all the time. I had some people reach out to me to do a video like this again. Um, recently, I was up in Point Pleasant, West Virginia with Russell Acord from Expedition Bigfoot. We were at the Mothman Festival and we ran into the owner of this gym right here. And let me tell you, Muscleheads Gym was named right. This is like walking back in time. This gym is so old school, it brought back a lot of memories for me. Concrete floors, old school bodybuilding equipment. If you're ever in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, you gotta go to this gym and you gotta go train at this facility. I give it a thumbs up. It's one of the better facilities I've seen that's old school in a long, long time. There's nothing commercial about this gym. So I got training courses in the description below.
go over all the body parts. I have my online coaching with my Transformation X 16-week comprehensive training courses. Click the link below, reach out to me, contact me, and we will get on the phone and start talking about how we're going to get your fitness journey going. Until next time, you guys have a great workout. Peace out.